<laughs> not a biologist. Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard. What's up with Carl Lentz? You heard about Hillsong lately? It was a movie, documentary. Let's look at that. At least the trailer coming up next. Okay, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. I deeply appreciate it. In my heart of hearts. No, I really do. Uh, allergies have been harassing me. I sneezed over a hundred times yesterday. I get to a point each day. And uh, then I just start counting because it's so bad. But it is what it is. I did take a Benadryl too. I appreciate your condolences. Anyway, <clears throat> that's not what this is about. Carl Lentz, remember him? Pastor. New York City, Hillsong, huge guy. Justin Bieber was the pastor of him. You know, mild, no-name singer. Uh, yeah, lots of interesting things have happened in the last few years, and this is one of them. We're going to look at a trailer right now, not from the Hillsong, but about Hillsong. And of course, that's the people who make the music um, and also have a bunch of churches all over. It started in Australia, so a brief kind of just history about them. They've got churches quote unquote, all over the place, uh, including New York, New York City. Uh, Carl Lentz was probably one of the most famous pastors, and he's not there anymore. But we're going to watch this trailer together and be against the world for it. We're going to be against this because this isn't a Christian company who's making it, uh, LGBT affirming things. So put that in the back of your mind already. Um, good to know things like that. What's the tenor? What's the tempo? What's the tone of this trailer so we're gonna look at this the truth doesn't go anywhere just because you cover it up i don't like you i don't like you wow truth doesn't go anywhere just because you cover it up carl says okay yeah uh yeah know the truth the truth will set you free bible verses would be good here Maybe they'll put some in. I don't know. Uh, they're singing a song, I Don't Like You. That's the first lyric of this song they choose. Let's keep going. The whole song is a mega church. And Carl Lentz is the celebrity pastor. Carl, he's so charming. People idolize him. There is a sense that past. Oh, nice. Good way to stop. Look at that. It's so hot. There's Justin Bieber. All right, well, let's keep can be hot. Okay. Four milliseconds in. No. Pastors, there's a sense in pa where pastors can be hot. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. He is married. Had been married since 2003. Um, and sure, is he attractive? Does he have a cut body? Is he chiseled? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, men should be, I think more men should be fit and care about um, health and veracity and vigor and, and and strength. Walking around with your shirt off with Justin Bieber and you got those like deep cut calf uh, or uh, abs, whatever those are. <laughs> Calves, abs, it's all the same. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a biologist. Uh, but right before that, it's just, he's charming. He's charming. Do we not remember what happened to Carl Lentz? He was fired. But why was he fired? Well, if you don't remember, we'll have to... I'll keep that little nugget for a moment. So special. It was cool. Oh, Carl Lentz, this mega superstar. And then he just disappeared. You do not want to be in this chair. I cannot stress it enough. You... <laughs> then he just disappeared. Oh, man. So what they're doing right now, they're couching this like he's a victim. Carl Lentz is a victim. Bro, do you not know how cool and charming and hot Carl Lentz was? You can't cover up the truth, Carl says at the beginning. I don't like you, this song says. Notice, notice what they're doing. This is the LGBT, not just affirming, but like they've made movies, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, things like that. So these people are making that, they're making this for a church. 
hmm, what if there's some sort of a an agenda there? I don't know. Maybe. This is already not going well <clears throat> at all. 36 seconds in. It's well, well made. Let me say that. Uh, it's definitely well crafted. There's a lot of cuts in this, and they use the song and 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 sound effect. It's a great trailer so far. But then he just disappears. Carl, where'd you go, bro? Where'd you go? As if he's a victim. As if he knew the truth. He was a whistleblower for. I don't know, let's see. I had some major lies. He said, I have been unfaithful. I've got a lot of major lies. Oh, then he says, I've been unfaithful. Okay. Way to dress up. He's got a white shirt, multiple buttons, no undershirt, long hair, certainly untucked. I mean, yeah, it looks like they're in Hawaii, but come on, bro. At least button your shirt. At least wear an undershirt. Who do you think this is? Like Vanity Fair. Oh, wait, that is it. Okay. Oh, you're in New York City. Oh, yeah. Gotta be cool. Gotta be hip. Who's this right here? This is Brian Houston, who covered up stuff supposedly for his dad, sex stuff and abuse stuff. Uh, and Brian Houston's been interviewed. I don't think we'll talk about him too much. Because um, this is about Carl Lentz. leader Brian Houston but there was something larger happening at this church okay so again right there Carl was fired by Brian Houston he's like the global pastor it's like fake it's like super uber hipster cool Roman Catholicism like they have all these parishes uh and there's like bishops over it and he's kind of like the pope of it I mean for my Roman Catholic friends sorry but that's really what it is He's fired, man. Why did he get fired? He's a whistleblower, isn't he? He's a victim. He's a, he's an abused man. But didn't his wife just say, I've been unfaithful? Is it what he said? Yeah. <clears throat> Forgive me, sorry. People were putting things together. Brian's unraveling was bound to happen. They were protecting something. What are they protecting? That, that's the guy that did uh, the Mark Driscoll. I can't remember his name. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> this is unraveling. This little trailer right here is couching Carl Lentz in a positive light. He was attacked. He was victimized. He was toppled. It was a coup. It's a conspiracy against him. Brian Houston's the real problem. <laughs> Brian's pushing people to the limit. Hillsong culture is loyalty to Hillsong. There was a series of violent criminal acts against children. Did you cover up your father's sex abuse? They had meetings about not telling anyone. Okay. So this just went from Carl Lance. Now I understand it's about Hillsong. It doesn't say Carl Lance. That's not the title. <clears throat> but it just went from Carl Lance is the victim to Brian Houston's the victimizer. Abused abuser. No that? And that's all point of this channel. And if you're liking this content, please like, please subscribe. It does help me out. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you want to, you can go right now to buy me a coffee. It's at the bottom. Want to support me? Buy me a bag of groceries or a coffee. Richard T. Henry. There. <clears throat> Buymeacoffee.com slash Richard T. Henry. Uh, you can do that. It's there. But notice what they're doing. And, and again, if you're like me, a lot of people are glasses half full mentality. I am too. And you see something, you think, oh man, that, that looks really good. Uh, and you give the benefit of the doubt, give the benefit of the doubt, give the benefit of the doubt. And you trust people. But we really can't. <laughs> Woo. All right, we're back. Yeah, that was bad little sneezing fit there uh okay so okay see we want to trust people like in one sense right and we want to give the benefit of the doubt love hopes all things believes all things endures all things right but at the same time you also have to not be idiots and not be just nice i think that's really been the problem we had a meeting last night uh me and the deacons at the church and i just said niceness is over this whole age of niceness in this church and church in general is over niceness is always like oh yeah okay and just letting things slide 
right? And so in one sense, a lot of believers, we think, wow, well, Jesus was nice. I just watched something, I forget what it was. And it was like, what's one of, you know, they took a survey and the, Jesus's greatest qualities or most popular qualities is meekness. And it's like meekness be, gets equated with weakness, which then it get, gets equated with niceness. Ah, because he's a nice guy. You know, a girl telling another girl, oh, is he cute? Is he this? Ah, he's really nice. Girls don't want just a nice guy. They want a strong guy. They want a guy that's got a spine. Most girls, right? They want a guy who's going to make hard decisions. They want a guy who's going to lead them, a guy who's going to protect them. Generally, most women, psychopaths, different story. Nobody really wants a nice guy. Nobody really wants the kind of beta male who's just like, oh, yeah, okay. You know, unless you're a domineering woman who's already subverting God's created order and trying to demand certain things. Women do that. Some women do that. But we're being so nice. Age of niceness is over in the church. That's where we're, that's why we got drag queen story hour, drag queen, family friendly strip clubs, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe Carl, maybe Carl Lentz is a pretty nice guy. He was hot. He was charming. Yeah, maybe maybe he was victim, victimized. No, no, I don't think so. Let's keep going. It's child abuse, labor abuse, sexual assault. Angels are abusive. Of what is I've never seen anything like this. Okay, so let's pause it right there before anybody accuses me like, oh, you're up covering up abusers. Don't be a fool. I'm not. I'm not saying Brian Houston isn't or Carl Lentz isn't also an abuser. or the, I mean, everybody's a victim and a victimizer of everybody else. There isn't just like this category or this ethnicity that's one versus the other. This is the lie. This is the, this, it's, it's funny. They believe binaries all the time, except for like male and female. You know, I'm I'm non-binary. Okay. Except for all these other binaries where like if you're white, you're evil. If you're black, you're good. Like just as if there's no anything. Uh, but I'm not at all, at all, even pretending to say abuse is fine. This shouldn't be covered. This shouldn't be looked at. Of course it should be. Absolutely 100 percent Especially abuse of children. That is disgusting. And especially the abuse of children within the church. I mean, that's like like the deepest, darkest pits of hell type of abuse, type of sin. It's sin. Okay. It's not just abuse. Abuse is sin. Why? Because people are sinners because people walk after the father of lies. Okay. So just get that out of the way there. This is abhorrently wicked. Any church, Hillsong, SBC, PCA, non-denominational, John MacArthur, John Piper, Tim Keller. I don't care if that's happening in your church and their church. And they're like, ah, push it aside. Ah, we can't really talk about that. It's going to hurt our image wicked and it will be found out either now or in eternity but all sin will be all these women this is what why are they showing all these women because like carl lentz abused them brian houston abused them because they all slept together they had some big party or or because Brian Houston covered up the abuse, but they're talking about children abuse. Why aren't they showing children? Like the church we're talking about. Well, this is the church we're talking about. Talking about. Talking about. <laughs> okay, so that comes out <clears throat> pretty quick. Is there anything else on this? Hulu. Oh yeah. No, that's it. Okay. So let's get out of here. Tell me your thoughts on this. Tell me your thoughts. You want to support me again, buymeacoffee.com slash Richard T. Henry. Uh, I am raising money for some different things in the set here. Some lights. Uh, I've got a giant light right now. It's huge, like umbrella light. I can't also even stand up in here. That can't be fixed by you unless you bought, give me lots and lots of money to build a whole extra studio. I'm in my attic, which is good. It's early in the morning right now, but you'll be watching this later, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. So, what do we got? <clears throat> Fired Hillsong NYC Pastor Carl Lentz apologizes for infidelity. Oh, November 5th, 2020. Christiane Astray. I mean today. Christiane today. Brian Houston, global. I hate when stuff like that happens. Like, Why did you just pop up? Don't pretend like I clicked on that. So he's fired, right? He's fired. And then the next day he's like, yeah, committed adult uh, infidelity. I had an affair, wife. 
So he, he's committed adultery. And like anything else, if you get caught doing that thing, you've been doing that thing more than once. Embezzling money, committing adultery, smoking crack, whatever, right? Like stealing, lying. You're not just like, oh, I lied that, about that one big thing, but I've never lied before about anything else. No, come on. Against the world, for the world, people. That's the goal. That's the goal here. So where's Carl Lentz, though? Where did he go? Tulsa Church cites restoration. Quote, unquote, hires Carl Lentz for first staff role since Hillsong implosion. Only two years. So this is the end of 2020. It's now beginning of 2023. So it's two and a half years. Former Hillsong East Coast pastor. East Coast pastor. So he's not just New York City pastor. He's like the bishop over the East Coast. Remember, Brian Houston's the Pope. Quote, unquote. Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That sounds familiar. Transformation. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this design. They use white text on white background. That is probably the most 4D chess amazing type of design ever. You have to like highlight it to really make it work. Oh, look at this. This is very common. You'll see this too. It's very subtle. Pastors. Not pastors Michael and Carl. Pastors Michael and Natalie. Oh, Natalie. Oh, just because she's she went to seminary. She's trained. And oh, by the way, she's also a dude. Wait, if she's a dude and that means he's gay, that means also they're disqualified. Wait a second. This is like double oxymoron. The wife is just de facto pastor. See this? Joel Osteen's done it. T.D. Jakes does it. Uh, I think Creflo Dollar does it. I don't know about Kenneth Copeland or not, but several of these other people are lead pastors of Transformation Church based in Oklahoma. So we all know that uh, oh, Bishop, look, founding pastor, Bishop Gary McIntosh. I don't know what they're bishops of because they're not bishops of Roman Catholicism. Somebody help me out because T.D. Jakes also has, oh, I'm a bishop, T.D. Jakes. Bishop, you're not Roman Catholic. And really, that just goes back to original words of uh, Episcopos, uh, which is where we get Episcopalian from. All these words are the same words, by the way. Overseer, elder, pastor, bishop. They're all the same role, functionally. They have different letters make up the word. But they're all the same that just oversee a local church. It didn't happen until years later, after the second, third, fourth generation Christians. You know, the bishop of Alexandria, the bishop of Rome, the bishop of Jerusalem. Of course, they all got sacked and by Muslims and attacked. And Rome won out. That's why Rome is now, quote unquote, the bishop of the whole church. There was a bunch of bishops, not just the Bishop of Rome. Uh, the gospel presented in a relevant and progressive way. They've been married since 2010. Live in Tulsa. Four beautiful children. Great. That sounds great. Except for the fact that who the heck is Bishop Gary McIntosh? It doesn't really matter. Why is he a bishop? And more than that, why is your wife a pastor? But this is, this is now just commonplace, people. This is not even remotely. Ten years ago, this probably would have been controversial. Now, 20 years ago, absolutely, nobody would have done this. So they hired predominantly black, interesting, non-denominational, led by author and popular social media influencer, Michael Todd. <laughs> well, yeah. we need to do more on Michael Todd. He's pretty horrendous. I don't know, drop a comment. Tell me if you want me to talk more about Michael Todd, because uh, he's, he's a special, he's a special one. I know some other people, K-Dub does some stuff and um, Jason does and some others. Anyway, Carl Lentz is now at Hillsong, Tulsa. No, Transformation Church. What happened to Carl Lentz? Carl and wife Laura to spill secrets of Hillsong. So notice what they're doing here. PETA sells vegan-friendly AI Bible to rewrite. I'm sorry, squirrel. Look at that. <laughs> what and now i have to do another video i'm gonna do a video within a video just kidding i'm not gonna do that christianpost.com carl Lentz and his wife laura the secrets of hillsong here it is right here queer eye for the straight guy netflix and documentary called equal that sound it's like a math documentary probably <laughs> sorry any fair published recorder. Uh, this is all right. We're done. 
we're done. This is too much. This is too much. All right. So point is secrets of Hillsong. Oh, secrets sizzling. Is it though? Is that what it is? Because Carl's just a victim. He's the one. Somebody else made him commit adultery. It's probably Brian Houston, right? Probably Brian Houston. Maybe Brian Houston's dad made him commit adultery. I was unfaithful. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You probably committed adultery multiple times. Why? Because chicks think you're hot, right? You're charming and you're a cool pastor. And I can be close to Jesus if we lay together. People think this. Don't think they don't. I know I have a very intelligent audience, a very, um, you really are. I'm not trying to butter you up, but you guys really think, uh, and you really seek seemingly walk, want to walk with the Lord. You're affiliated with your local church. If you're not part of a local church, get into a local church. And if you're ever in Kentucky, come visit us. We're in Western Kentucky. Drop me a line and let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I'm not going to watch this by the way. I'm just, I'm just not, I don't have any time for that. I don't have Hulu either. Uh, but it is what it is, right? At least it's good to know that it's out there. And even when you're presented with something like a quick two minute trailer to digest it. So that's my whole goal. Again, of this channel, especially these um, talks right here, Contra Thoughts, particularly, where it's just me kind of riffing off stuff, paying attention to church and culture, being against it, but for it, right? Because Carl Lentz needs the gospel. He's not a Christian. He's not a Christian. Justin Bieber, I doubt he's a Christian. Brian Houston, doubt he's a Christian at all. I doubt any of these guys are Christians. Uh, they have some sort of like, we use Jesus to get power and money. You know, Christians are more trusting, so we can abuse them. We can lie to them. We can manipulate them. I have no I have no doubt that these people are not actually born again. They've not actually believed and trusted Christ. They've not confessed their sin and seeking to walk with him faithfully. Yes, you can. And I'm not saying because he committed adultery. If There are Christians who stumble and fall into sin, especially if you've had prior sin or you've been married before, or you've used pornography a lot or all these other things. I'm not saying I'm not a, 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 a sinner. I'm not saying I don't sin because I do. And I am. Or I am and I do. But the point is the fruit of your life, right? There's this, this, this out of the overflow of your heart, your mouth speaks and by extension, your actions too. So anyway, I hope this finds you well. Um, Again, if you want to support me, you can do that. Buymeacoffee.com slash Richard T. Henry. Buymeacoffee.com slash Richard T. Henry. I am trying to save up, so drop me a couple bucks here and there. Uh, if you're not already a supporter, I'm going to put all the supporters at the back of this. And I'm going to actually have, just for a few things, I'm going to do some behind-the-scenes stuff that only supporters will be able to get. And also, I'm writing a book on um, liberal Christianity. Uh, progressive Christianity, red letter Christianity proper. If you've ever heard of red letter Christians where they, they weigh the red letters more than the black letters, even in the gospels, and certainly against Paul's words or Peter's words. That might be new to you. It might not be, but I'm writing on that. Uh, I'm going to be giving a sneak preview of the introduction and the first chapter in June. So if you're a member or supporter, I guess you could say, uh, you're going to be getting that. That's only for people who have supported me through buy me a coffee. You don't have to be a regular member, a monthly member, although that's helpful. Uh, it's like $5 a month. But even if you've dropped five bucks one time, I'm going to give that uh, option to you. I'm going to email it to you directly. Anyway, thanks so much. Y'all have a great day. Be against the world for the world. Contramundum. Go Monday.